really ready? Yes, we are ready. Before somebody tells you how Accra is, we should be able to tell you the road that leads from Nkonya to Accra. You can't just sit at Bolga and say the circle is at uh, the military camp. The reason why I'm telling you this is women even don't know their worth. And the little that you know, if somebody wants to push forward, to pull you along, you begin to drag the feet. In the marital home, if a man even marries ten, you should be able to come together as women and drill this man to take good care of you, but rather you rival. You see, women, who are you? You are very special. Pastors will come out and tell you, and God spoke to a man, and God is, have you ever sat down to think about this, that God created man from the dust? And you were specially created from. Not, you are not a dust. So you are not supposed to be on the ground. But like Cain and Abel, I read for man, they try to subdue you, they try to suppress you. But immediately you begin to know who you are. I don't say, I, did, I didn't say go and fold your hand and knock your husband by the nose. But let the men know that you were specially created. You were not created from the dust. If you take palm nut, you compare it with, you can't say palm nut fruit soup. You prepare palm nut soup with all the ingredients and everything, and that is how you are. You gave birth to us. And because we men don't respect, number one, because we men are cowards, we will have to push you down so that you wouldn't talk because our minds are not straight. But if you really respect a woman, the woman will lead you out of the merest mad area. But if you sit in the best car, you buy a jet and go and sit behind the steer or the steering wheel without igniting the car, without starting the car, without changing it, how will the car move? We are just some machines sitting on the hilltop. And if you forget and press the crutch, then we will be rolling down. You've not sparked us. Then that place, we are controlling you because you can't move. But if you spark the thing, change the gear, hold the brakes, you will use us and the world will become a better place. I've always been blaming women for all the problems you are having because you are not able to take the world by the reins and move with us. We the chiefs are almost some very serious cowards. We know the truth. You know the truth that in the system, but because the man doesn't want you to know how much money is in his pocket, he's going to boost the toe and some bit of zero somewhere. You begin to become rude. Am I a small boy? Who told you I'm not a small boy? Are you not the one they gave birth to? I won't talk much. But my only advice is know who you are. And know your wealth. And know your power. And be very confident in anything you are saying. When we talk, we only frighten you by saying, you don't respect, that's why. But two plus two is always four. Even if you say me pacho, it is still four. I've been telling people in the palace, sometimes that's what the men do. When somebody says something in the palace and then the uh, accused is saying, oh, it is a lie. How? Jesus Christ from Nangodi Market. How do you say this man is a liar? But let's take it, if you said it decently, oh please, that is not what I said. That is not what you said, that means that he's a liar. But you didn't mention it. Take that habit. Pacho. Wait, there has somebody there, Jimmy Semai. I'm Pacho, Dada. But 
But if you wake up and attack, that is where we get you. And what I've come to learn, finally I want to tell you is, read about yourself. Nobody is an honored. Because I asked for we, the people from Atulba BC, uh, the men do this. Is Atulba BC a different place from Ghana? The constitution supersedes every authority in the country. Learn it. Buy your chieftaincy. Uh, they, 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 they have a small pamphlet there. Read and let them know who you are. And stop telling, let, letting us tell you that uh, in, in our thing, men, women don't matter. It's a very serious coward who makes that. Some of us know that police station doesn't exist. And courts don't exist. I'll slap you, then I'll run and go and hide in the bush. After some three days, your uncles will come and say, oh, let's talk nicely in the house. If the person, you have two children, and one is stepping on the other, and the one who has been stepped on is crying, then you go and hold the steps, child, don't cry, people are here. Won't you tell the one who is stepping, take off your leg? This is what we are doing. And you will sit. Do it and get yourself liberated and push us on. Yes. We the men are the macho men, but we are blind. And even if we see you, the women, as cripples, you have eyes. Any party that will become sweet in the house, it is the woman who makes the acclaim or the sabo or the fufu and all that. When I finish chopping, then I'll be looking at you with a bad eye. God have mercy on you. You know why we are here. This time, it is not a, a sacred gentleman who wants to boss a woman. I say, Auntie, where are you going to? <laughs> Did I see you yesterday? And all this, no, we are here for a purpose. And by the authority that has been given to me as your chairman, whether you like it or not, I am duly launching this program. So I declare this program duly launched. Focus! Arrogance! You see this, huh? Focus! Arrogance! Yes, all regions, focus from the Upper East, where I was born, some 74 years ago. Correct.